Am I ready? Okay. Hey everyone, I'm Claire from the Bon Appetit Test Kitchen. I'm here with the Incredible Egg, and today I'm making brown butter chestnut blondies. I came up with this recipe for the holidays because it's a kind of cookie you can make really, really quickly. So if you have to run to a cookie swap or a holiday party, you could put it together in less than 15 minutes. It's one of those things you can cut into little pieces and it makes a really cute little display on a platter for all of your holiday parties. Blondies are, I think, sort of like a classic kid treat because they're usually pretty sweet, but I add chestnuts because I love the kind of earthy flavor and they're kind of subtle and they, I think, blend really well with all the other ingredients in a classic blondie. I have white chocolate right here. It's already chopped, so I'm gonna put it into the food processor. The next step is I'm going to cook the butter, 10 tablespoons, it's just going into my saucepan. Most of the water has boiled off and it's gonna start turning brown really soon. The heat of this butter is gonna melt all of this white chocolate. First chestnuts, 200 grams, about one and a quarter cups, plain granulated sugar. And then a quarter cup of brown, vanilla extract. And now I'm gonna add my eggs. The eggs serve an important purpose in this recipe. The eggs really help to emulsify all of these ingredients together and make the batter super, super smooth. I do a lot of holiday baking, so especially around that time of year, I go through a lot of eggs. It's in pretty much every baking recipe I use from cookies to cakes to bouche noel, they like get really celebratory, um, to like enriched bread. So it's just a really versatile ingredient. So here I have three eggs. I'm gonna do two whole, one yolk. And that extra yolk just adds really nice richness to this recipe. I'm gonna start it on low. All right, I'm ready to add my dry ingredients. This is an eight by eight pan. I just lined it with foil and buttered the foil. Super simple. If you're lucky, you don't even have to wash the pan after you're done. Flour, it's one and a quarter cups. And this just gets sprinkled right on top. And a little bit of kosher salt. So the batter is thickened a lot because of the cold eggs and also just that bit of flour. I want a smooth, even surface, but the batter kind of does that for you. These are gonna go into a 350 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes. The blondies taste great plain but the surface doesn't look great. So to make them a little more festive for the holidays, I finish them with a brown butter white chocolate glaze. In goes the white chocolate. Same thing, it's just gonna sit and hang out in the hot butter and melt. I mean, it melts really quickly. Add just a little bit of powdered sugar, it's two tablespoons. And also to counter some of that sweetness, a generous pinch of kosher salt. I have here for finishing the blondies, some nonpareils. It's just a really fun touch, these are uh, red, white, and green. So these are baked and they've been cooling for a couple of hours. So directly from the saucepan. Now before it sets, I'm going to just use my spatula. You could use the back of a spoon if you don't have a small offset spatula. And this is set enough that I can make some texture in the glaze, which is kind of pretty. So you can do kind of some swirls. And now I'm ready to add my sprinkles. and have like little accents. This glaze is almost set, but in order to get really sharp, clean slices when I cut it, I want it cold, so I'm gonna put it in the fridge. It'll only take a few minutes because it's pretty much there. These blondies are pretty intense with the white chocolate and the brown butter, so I like to cut them into small squares that are kind of like little two bite treats. It's just a nice size and like very easy to kind of pick up and snack on. That extra yolk really adds a dense kind of fudgy texture to the blondies. And then you get around the edges and it's a little bit cakier from where it was a bit more baked and a little chewier. It's just a really kind of intense, textural, lightly sweet dessert. And I love the texture you get from the nonpareil. So any kind of sugar you put on top is a little bit of extra crunch. This recipe checks all the boxes of holiday baking. It's giftable, you can double it, and it's highly transportable. So it's great for taking to all your holiday parties or cookie swaps. So that's my recipe for brown butter chestnut blondies and thanks for watching.